G'day guys, it's Ben again here to bring you another video and today we're going to make a knight's surcoat. I've cut out the canvas lining and now I'm just going to start cutting out the yellow which will be the outer fabric, the cotton drill. I'm making the surcoat out of a nice quality uh, heavy duty cotton yellow outer and I'm lining it with a white sort of canvasy type cotton inner. And the reason I want to do that is I want to give this uh, garment a good lifespan, make it nice and robust so it's going to be able to withstand the, the uses and the applications that I'm going to put it through on a pretty much a fortnightly basis. I've now got both sides of the surcoat squared away and finished. The next thing I want to do is join the two sides together at the shoulders. So at the sides of the surcoat I'm going to leave open and I'm going to put some lacing in there which would allow for the flexibility. I'm currently losing weight and um, but obviously if I'm wearing uh, a heavy gambeson and chain mail and that kind of thing then my chest is going to expand so uh, and, and it's going to depend on the type of training that I'm doing as to I guess um, how wide the the surcoat needs to be so uh, what I want to do as I say is, is put some lacing in there that, which will allow for that flexibility but right now I'm going to join the two sides together using a zigzag stitch and then I'm top stitching that with a straight stitch to provide maximum strength. A surcoat was as much of a heraldic device as a shield or many other th things like flags and those kind of emblems. So I've decided to add uh, some medieval symbology to my surcoat. I feel that's very important to do. I don't have the time to embroider this. I'd like to, but I don't have the time to. So I'm simply adding on some extra fabric.
Alrighty guys, we're now complete. So uh, I had to break this project down a little bit more than I wanted to. Uh, my original sewing machine actually packed it in only really sort of a few hours into this project and it was a real shame. So I finally managed to get that sorted out and here we go, we've now finished today's project. So we're all done. Uh, the fleur de lis on my chest. I would actually like to have done some more iconography and I think I will probably add some more uh, as I go. Um, I'd like to add the, the cross of Jerusalem and, and a few things, but I'll see how I go with that. Uh, I'm, I'm yet to give this a good test and I'm really looking forward to my first kind of um, uh, HEMA session, which is Historical European Martial Arts. Uh, with this uh, coat. So uh, let's see how that goes. I'm going to do another video shortly where I'm going to talk about the surcoat. My particular one has gone just below the knee. There are plenty of iconography from the medieval period which shows surcoats above the knee and also right down to the ankle. It would simply depend upon that particular knight or man at arms or whatever it might be as to how they wanted to uh, dress for battle. Dressing for battle is a huge thing, even in the military today. Battle preparation is a huge um, phase of the battle in Australia particularly and that's where I spent most of my military career. Uh, and, and soldiers uh, will focus and prepare their minds for battle. So, um, and I believe very much the surcoat is, is a big part of that. Uh, I, I believe personally that a person, a, a knight or a warrior, would look upon their surcoat and think about the imagery and the iconography and ask themselves, are they living up to that standard? Are, are they representing their family's name? Are they representing their lord or their king or their cause? Uh, are they representing truly, are they behaving in a way that truly represents what they should be uh, or are they letting their standards fall? It's, it's very interesting um, and it's, it's actually a very big part of uh, life as a warrior. Uh, I spent 14 years of my life as a warrior and um, it's focusing and preparing ourselves for for the, uh, the work that we do is, is so important uh, and it very much brings our mind into the moment, brings our mind into what we're doing. So uh, I'm very pleased with the outcome of this. This is, um, it worked very well. There's plenty of room for my mail and also my gambeson. There's, um, I, I'm very happy with the way this has turned out indeed. So uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, please like, subscribe and share and I will catch you in my next video.